Welcome back. In this video, let's see how to incorporate props when styling components. At the moment, our button has a solid background color of green. Let's say we want an outline variant of this button. If variant is outline, the button will have just the green border instead of a fill color. If variant is not specified, it will have the fill color. Let's see how to get that done with style components. Step one, make a copy of the button component in app.js and specify a prop called variant and set it to outline. I'll also add a break tag to separate the two buttons. Step two, in the styled component for background color and color properties, we're going to specify function as value using interpolation. So for background color, we specify dollar curly braces and within the curly braces, we specify a function. Now styled components will automatically inject the components props as an argument. So we get hold of that and in the function body based on the variant prop we're going to set the background color. So if props dot variant is outline we return a white background else we return a green background and let me format that. Similarly, for color, we specify the exact same function except the colors are now inverted. So if variant is outline, the color is going to be green, else the color is going to be white. And that is pretty much it. If we save the file and take a look at the browser, you can see we have a regular button and the outline variant. We are able to define just one styled component and based on the props passed to that component, adapt the styles using template literals and interpolation. And this, if you ask me, is very clean yet powerful. In the next video, let's take a look at extending styles with styled components. Thank you for watching. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next one.